Space. The final frontier. Here we are. Go readings and salutations, universe. This is Krita, and this is Omni Factory. Oh, look at this. We've expanded. Uh, I, I think we're going to need this today. Um, yes, we need more electronic blast furnaces. And the hilarious thing is, I made a really pretty room, I thought. Well, kind of pretty. You know. It, you know how it is. Shh. Don't, don't call it ugly. Okay, uh, we made a really nice room in the overworld, but uh, then we upgraded to space, and I didn't get to use that room, but that's okay. Anyway, in the last episode, we made some Naquata. Is it right here? Yes. Nope, that's Neobium. Naquata. And I have basically sent a few ships, about eight of them. Uh, I think that, yeah, that would get us to 2048 Naquata ingots. And things are looking fantastic. Uh, I've even upgraded a few things here and there, and we have some new recipes in the system, but nothing super worth noting. Uh, we're just going to proceed with the quest book and see what we have to do today. Right? So, I've had a goal of getting to Enderium ingots, but to get to that, we need some Nequata coils. So, uh, with any luck, we should be able to summon some Naquata coils. Uh, we're going to need a bunch of these, I'm sure, but we're going to get started with a nice and cozy 16. That's using only 128 ingots, and that's okay. Uh, it's going into our system, it's turning into wires, we then craft them into Naquata wires 2x, and there we go, we have some Naquata coils. Hee <laughs> hee! Nice. I like it. Um, now, I don't necessarily know if I'm going to be upgrading every single one of these, but uh, I'll definitely make one for starters. Like so. And also, I totally forgot. It's Halloween. Happy Halloween. Check this out. Happy Halloween. <laughs> uh, this must be something from Applied Energistics, and I must say I'm loving it. Uh... There is a possibility there's other things going on with mobs and whatnot, but uh, we have to press press on, right? We can't possibly look at any Halloween funny shenanigans. No, no, no. On with the machine. That zombie has a pumpkin on his head! <laughs> yeah, look at him, he's so cute. Look, there's another one! Oh, <laughs> oh the, the skeleton has it too! Okay, okay, back to the machine. The hilarious thing is that we can't even have, for some reason, all right, my system does not recognize the fact that we make resonant clathrate already for PPC. So I just made a recipe for it. I'm not figuring out the old base. It has to be able to be made here. Anywho, uh, so, uh, yes, we want to use the resonant clathrate to make enderium blend. Huh? Yeah. And we're going to be able to toss that Enderium blend into our system, or into that particular uh, blast furnace, because this stuff, along with primal mana, needs an aquata temperature to make Enderium! Woohoo! Uh, so exciting. I am very happy. Uh, so, uh, Enderium, please. Enderium. And then we need to provide that with the fun mana stuff, which I did not realize, but that's okay. Uh, the Enderium will be there soon, so let me hook up a little bit of mana, because I think we have mana, right? Mana? Mana? Primal mana. Yes. Very good. Excellent. Couldn't be happier. Moving along. Uh, so that's going to be a fluid interface, and our Enderium is there. Is it still crafting? No. Okay. Uh, oh, there we go. The 300 lovely, beautiful Enderium. We could hook this up uh, ourselves, or we can put it in manually, and we should be able to see the hot ingots coming in. To, oh, it comes out as in just proper Enderium. Fantastic, beautiful. Uh, probably gonna hook that up with a bigger input bus, but that's okay. For right now, that is beautiful and lovely. We have Enderium. Now, I am going to upgrade the entire base to Enderium conduits. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. If you've played this pack before, you know I'm very close to Draconium. Because I, I went ahead and I looked, right? 
we're about to have draconium. It's right there. We can have this, right? Vacuum freezer, cryothium, hot draconium. We have enderium, ender dragon scales, and we have nitro diesel. What was that? Oh, that's just the background noise. <laughs> it's Halloween. I'm getting scoot, uh, uh, scared. Uh, scoot? Uh, what's the word? Anywho, um, so we're very close to draconium, right? And draconium, funny enough, gets turned into max superconductor insane energy conduits, right? Uh, so that goes from 8 million to 134 million movement. Um, and I'm pretty sure that we could probably have some of this as well, because we'll have draconium and I can make nether stars. So we can have those if we want to have those. They're they're just there. They're there for the taking. We can we can use them. Right? So, uh yes. <laughs> uh, but I want to have a little bit of time with the Enderium uh energy conduits cuz I think they're going to be really pretty, okay? I think they're going to be so gorgeous and lovely and beautiful and I want them. Can you forgive me for that? Is that a forgivable sin? I don't know. Um, now, do we already have Enderium? Nope, we need more wires. There we go. I think I actually may have exhausted my wire mill. Nope, we're still going good, so that's fantastic. We have put in Draconium, but that's okay. And from there, we take the Enderium, and we want to put them in an assembler because this recipe is more efficient at making the, the enderium conduits, right? So if we take a quick peek at that, this recipe makes three using two enderium. This one uses two and it makes four. So it's more efficient and I like that. Okay, so we're gonna put this into our system along with the other ones and put in the enderium ingots and summon a, just a few, just, just a little taste of what? <laughs> just just a few. <laughs> just a few of these lovely, lovely Enderium energy conduits. Are they pretty? If they're not... Oh. Oh, those aren't green. We're in luck! We don't have to turn the entire base into Enderium and then do super conduits. We are going to go straight to super conduit conduits. Super, super conductor con... Anyway, now remember one of the primary rules of government spending. Why have one when you can have two for twice the cost? Uh, if you know that movie, let me know. I love that movie. It's fantastic. All right. So we have another blast furnace, another uh, temp temporary one. Unfortunately, this is on a chunk border, so I can't really expand that temporary one. So this is definitely a now permanent feature. Uh, and we are going to supply this little fellow with, uh, you know, a little bit of draconium. And we're going to see how that goes. So, uh, let's see, item, fil item conduit. There we go. Now, I just realized that I could potentially have supplied this slightly differently, but that's okay. Um, how do I want to do this? We're going to pop, hey, pop out the right one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we could have this guy come over to here. Speaking of which, make sure you're on invisible, please. Thank you. Same with uh, you, I think. Perfect. Um, but we'll just have a, another one like so right there. Lovely. Lovely. So this is going to be supplying some dragon scales like so. And can I just yoink that up a bit? Cool. And output on black because draconium scales are black you know it, it, it's got to make sense there's there's no real alternative right um, and this should be running cool everything's working beautifully we now have some pink ingots right there uh, I think we are going to get rid of that and uh, this as well which means I guess we can get rid of that and that. Um, what I'm doing here is I am just going to change up how I am supplying this thing. I think we'll just have this route in 
and everything will just be wonderful. Um, so Draconium is going to pop on over to here, like so. And because the hot Draconium is pink, I believe, yes, we have pink and purple. So we're going to extract on pink. Lovely. Wait, no, this one's insert. Whoopsie daisies. That's okay. There we go. Insert on pink. And this fellow right here is going to extract on pink. Uh, I just realized after I built this vacuum thing that we probably could have used this vacuum freezer and just put liquid cryothium in it. But hey, a, uh, a specified unit is going to do just wonderfully. And it's possible that we end up having more draconium um, than we might otherwise use. But that should be a quest complete. <laughs> I like it. All right, this is going to go into here, and we're going to basically have a storage device that really wants to put um, that in there, and then we'll control the speed, right? Um, do we want to have like a controller in the middle? Maybe. Maybe that would work. Not sure yet. But for right now, we'll just leave it as is. And once again, if you can have one vacuum freezer, why not have a second, you know? So, I'm going to be grabbing this nether star, putting it into this recipe. So, draconium wire, nether star, makes a superconductor wire, right? And I've set up a specialized vacuum freezer. This thing is kind of wired up a little bit differently. So, normally I would have the output bus kind of just, you know, yoinking over there, and I'd have the input bus what? Eh, never mind. I'm confluffled. But this is pretty cool, right? So this interface will put items into the uh, chest right here. Where'd that recipe go? Didn't I just grab a recipe? Anyway, that chest is going to be grabbing this recipe. Oh, there it is. Uh, blind credo. So the recipe is going to grab the items from here, right, goes into the chest. Then we will filter the nether stars to this fluid extractor, which automatically will shoot out the fluid to this input hatch. This input bus grabs only draconium. So if I understand it correctly, we should be able to craft draconium wire or superconductor wire. <laughs> Obviously, we can craft uh, the other bits. Now, what is confluffling this? We are crafting nether quartz? Eh, okay. That is totally okay with me. I think uh, we might want to fix that in the future, but for right now, that is lovely, right? So this is melting the fluid. The input bus is taking our ingots, lovely, beautiful, not the ingots, the draconium wire, and then everything should just be wonderful. There we go, superconductor wire, 10 of them. Uh, for right now, it's a little bit slow, but that is a quest complete. And what this means is we can take that, um, that recipe that we had before for the enderium, and we're just going to skip that step completely and go straight to Draconium, and then skipping that as well, all the way to end game superconductor energy conduits, which are gonna be exceptionally slow to make, but thankfully, uh, <laughs> you guys don't have to spend time with that. I'm gonna make those myself, and slowly turn every single cable in this place into superconductor energy conduits. How awesome is that? Huh? That's, that is, that's, that just makes me so happy. It really does. <laughs> uh, yes, these can be made into RF conduits that can transmit a whopping 134 million RF per tick. And the other cool thing is that we can just put superconductor wires pretty much anywhere. Um, we can, I, I think, right? I think that as long as the CEF uh, operates the way I think it does, right? 
let's grab one of these cables and we're gonna grab this fluid solidifier I don't know what we had in there whoops anywho um, we're going to have a little cable right there and this will get the energy this can be a cable for everything that uses four amps of power as long as the CEF's power matches the power that the machine wants so that's cool right um, that'll work with uh, low voltage, ultra voltage, max voltage, any voltage. I, uh, that is fantastic. It is exceptionally expensive, but it's fantastic. Um, arguably, we could do something quite similar with draconium, at least for a while. This is uh, ultra voltage. I don't think we're anywhere really close to that, but hey, we have it, so cool. <laughs> oh, that's so much fun. Tier 6 Micro Miner. What can we do with that? Probably don't want to craft this quite yet. But, uh, well, we already have those. We have that. We can probably make those. I've definitely made those before. Um, Quantum Stars. Yeah, we've made those. We've never made those before, but that looks quite easy. What do we get for that? Uranium, Osmium, Iridium. I don't think that's a wonderful way of getting it, but that's cool. Uh, stabilized Einsteinium and Dragon Eggs. Hey, I like Dragon Eggs. And this stuff is needed for Osmium and also a Draconic Reactor Core. Definitely not quite there yet, but maybe we are. You know, you never know. <laughs> oh, these things are so expensive. That's... That's like... What is that? That's, uh, for every three of these, it's a whole nether star. Oh my gosh. Now, there's quite a lot of ways to tell how many of something you have in your network, right? So we have a network tool right here, and this shows us that I I've, this is a pretty small network, I think, maybe, possibly? Um, it's still taking a lot of energy. It has, you know, 531 ME conduits but that doesn't necessarily work with uh, the energy conduits for like the signalum ones, right? Um, this guy does tell us something. Um, it tells us that our conduit storage is able to store 555 million conduit uh, energy, right? Um, which I would have to do the math, but uh, that looks like it's about a little bit over a thousand of these signalum conduits. I really hope my math is right there, right? It's just pretty simple. Um, and these, you know, we already did the calculations, right? So that's like 330 <laughs> nether stars that we have to make. But thankfully, we can do those in kind of smaller batches. Um, you know, 100 here and there and, and just see if the system can handle it. I think it can, uh, though for some reason, nether quartz just always seem to be out of it. But thankfully, we do have the capabilities to craft it, so that's no big deal. It just takes a little while, and uh, all of the nether stars shall be ours. So yeah. Oh, it's 1 to 2. I thought it was 1 to 1, or 1 to 3. There's one of those. Makes all oh, only four of these. Usually it gives... I thought it gave six. Oh no, it was um, this recipe right here gives three and I my brain says this gives six but still a one to two ratio so that's 500 nether stars that we have to make at some juncture but uh you know it's working on the 50 right there and that's 10 percent already how about that right now some of you might be wondering why would I need so much energy and this is why at some juncture I want to upgrade this all these CEFs that take up LUV power I'm not sure our system can actually handle that. Uh, I, I mean, I think the Signalum ones do, but uh, all that stuff up there can't. Um, and these are also, what are they? Yeah, 4X LUV. Um, I, I'd have to do the math, but it, it's starting to get questionable. But the moment that I replace everything with superconductors, we're going to be in a wonderful place for a very, very long time. Um, and the, the really cool thing is I think I can just click on something like so, and it's just going to replace it. 
right? So I just have to go through the entire base and locate every single one of these and replace them, which should be okay, right? Right? Y yeah. Uh, so in the next episode, we're going to hopefully see every single one of these uh, has changed <laughs> and uh, hopefully I have not gone mad but uh, unfortunately that is going to have to be it for the episode superconductors are really cool and uh, I'm really happy that we now have them but uh, I'm also a little bit concerned that we have to go through and change every single one and I don't think I've hidden any in, in the walls and whatnot I've tried to keep them out in the open. Anywho, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. We got Enderium, we dra got Draconium, and we have Superconductors. Woohoo! Hee <laughs> hee! Bye bye!